All right, to get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline along with an audio clip. Let's begin by going up to File, New, Captions. In the pop-up's first drop-down, the first option will be for standard definition closed captions which allows the user to turn them on and off. Below that, there's an option for closed captions for high definition. But I'm going to select open captions because I want my captions permanently burned into my video for social media. Now let's drag the captions from our project panel onto the track above your video clip on the timeline. And I'm just going to drag my caption clip's end so that its duration matches my video's duration. Alright, so each individual caption you add will be represented by this black bar on the caption clip. You can double click that black bar to open up the captions panel. In here, the first thing you're going to want to do is type your caption in this box where it prompts you to. Now that you have your text, there's a bunch of settings to play around with, like changing the font size of your text. You may want to drag the edge of this panel so that you can see all of the settings. Another useful thing you can do is change the caption's opacity by clicking the square and dragging the percentage value. Additionally, any of these small grid squares will allow you to change the position of your caption in the frame. You can also change your caption's position more precisely by dragging these X and Y values. Next, I'm going to adjust the duration of my caption so it lines up with the first section of my audio. You can do this by dragging the ends of the black caption bar on the clip. You can also change when the caption plays back by dragging the middle of the black bar. Okay, this looks good, so let's add our next caption by clicking this plus button in the captions panel. Then I'll just drag the middle of my caption to reposition it, and I'll drag its ends to match the duration of my next bit of audio. Now, back in the captions panel, I'll just type some text for my next caption. As you can see, my second caption will keep the formatting of my first caption, which is really useful. Okay, and to finish captioning, you just keep adding captions and lining them up to the parts of the clip you want. Once you're finished adding captions and go to export your video, under the captions tab, you'll see export options, which will let you burn your captions into your video, create a sidecar file, or simply not include them. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.